Yours too? When you call. I'll call the fourth regular meeting of the 2003-2004 Common Council to order. City Clerk, please call the roll. Bowman? Here. Berg? Here. Bonet? Here. Doyle? Here. Graf? Here. Manny? Here. Montemayor? Here. Moody? Here. Perez? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Stefan? Excused. Van Akron? Here. Vanderwill? Here. Wangaman? Here. Warner? Here. Wenninger? Here. Fifteen present. A quorum is present. Uh, the first order of business is that the mayor would like me to read a, a message from uh, that he has written. Uh, Dear members of the Common Council and citizens of Sheboygan, I have asked Alderman Jim Graff, President of the Council, to preside over the Common Council meeting tonight. For the first time in my six years as mayor, I have asked to be excused so that I may fulfill a family commitment. By now, I'm sure you have heard all, have all heard of the incident that took place in our city yesterday. A man with a gun was firing shots in the neighborhood of 13th Street and Center Avenue. Thanks to the professionalism of our police department, they were able to control the situation and apprehend the suspect. I would like to commend P police officer Eric Etzen, who suffered a gunshot wound to his arm for his heroic e efforts in the line of duty. I hope everybody realizes how fortunate the residents of Sheboygan are for having one of the best police and fire departments in the state. Our police and fire department work closely together to secure the area and provide protection to the community. I would also like to thank the county units for, who responded for additional support. Thanks to all who took this potentially dead, deadly situation and put their lives on the line to protect our citizens. Job well done, Mayor James Schramm. Uh, and to that I'd like to add from the rest of the members of the Common Council, if I may, uh, that our heart, heartfelt um, congratulations and um, commend uh, Police Officer Eric Edson, who did suffer a gunshot wound and who is um, recovering um, from that, uh, and also all the other police and fire department personnel that, that work to, um, to avoid any problems in this situation. Okay, with that, uh, I'd ask for approval of the minutes. Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I would make a motion to approve the minutes from our previous meeting and the minutes from our special council meeting in the same stand approved as entered on the record. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous Common Council meeting and the special meeting, and the same stand approved is entered on the record. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Chair will vote aye opposed. Motion carries. The Pledge of Allegiance this evening will be um, done by Troop 889 from Emmanuel Bible Church, and Daryl Thurman is the um, leader. There is one mayor's appointment this evening. Honorable members of the council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Marie Ellis to be reappointed as city assessor, term to expire June 15, 2008, signed by the mayor. And that will lie over. And Pat, public forum. Yes, Miriam Schnur. Miriam, you'll have five minutes. Thank you. Good evening, uh, members of the council. Miriam, would you like to pull the mic a little closer? And do you need a name and address? No. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Good evening again. As he stated, my name is Miriam Florishner. I live at 99 Kentucky Avenue here in Sheboygan. On April 17, 2001, I was appointed to the Capital Improvements Commission as, citizen, as a citizen member on the recommendation of Alderman Juan Perez. 
my appointment was confirmed by the Common Council as required by Section 2-661A of the City Ordinances and does not expire until April 30th of 2004. On April 25th, I received a letter from Mayor Schramm informing me that my term has expired and he was replacing me. I quickly made an appointment to see what the problem or dilemma was. On April 28th, that Monday, I spoke with Mayor Schramm and he told me he was replacing me on capital improvements based on the fact that my term had expired. I informed him that that was incorrect and that my term did not expire until the following year. Mayor Schramm said it didn't matter and that he was replacing me anyway. I'd like to make also one comment based on that. If I did at all need to be replaced, I, I really did not know the reason why. I have spent significant amount of time, dedication, and commitment in making sure that I was on every single one of these commissions on time. I changed my schedule around. I went to night classes just to make sure I could actually make all these meetings. I understand that he already has made another appointment to another person to take my place. From what I understand, this appointment has been done illegally. My term does not expire again until April 30th, 2004. My credentials right here do state that I am not uh, done until April 30th of 04 again. If Mayor Sham wanted to remove me, it was, uh, it was appear that he would have to establish just cause after hearing before the Common Council and a three-quarter affirmative vote from the Council. Please ask that your city attorney review these codes and sections, particularly 17.12 of the Wisconsin statutes with you. I do not know why this action is taken against me, but I just do know that it's illegal and unjust and would appreciate a much further elaboration of explanation. I've been a very good commissioner, put quite a bit of time and dedication into it, and taken my responsibilities very seriously. I would like to serve the remaining of my uh, term, and I'm asking that Mayor Schramm please reconsider his legal appointment and reinstate me, or if not, give me some legit or legal reason why. If he doesn't, I'm asking that maybe some type of action maybe should be taken. But I ask from all the members here from Council to please see that all appointments that be done in the near future be done just and legit and right. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the consent agenda, items 4.1 through 4.34, but that excludes items Four, one here. <laughs> excluding items 425 and 426. They will be held for items 469 and 470. Alderman Warner. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. President, I make a motion we accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and, and to pass all resolutions. Is there a second? It's been moved and seconded to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and pass all resolutions from item 4.1 through 4.34, excluding the, the two that I just mentioned, 4.25 and 4.26. Is there any discussion? Alderman Bauman. Uh, thank you. Uh I could say, Your Honor, but you're really not tonight, you're <laughs> Mr. President. Um, 425 and 426 were the two I was going to speak about, but we'll just let um, um, Alderman Werner take care of those two. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman Moody. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, no need to pull anything. There's just a couple of documents, two, three, four, and, and probably more, that refer to business drive. I'm just wondering. Um, Work has already begun as of today on, on the demolition of Broadway Avenue and, and um, the project is well underway. Why did these documents first come now? Why, shouldn't, why didn't they come sooner? They did come sooner. Oh, I'm sorry. The resolutions were passed. This is just the, 
documents that were filed at the Register of Deeds. Okay. Thank you. Any other discussion? Then, Pat, would you please call the roll? Sure. Tony? Aye. Doyle? Rob? Aye. Motion carried. <clears throat> Items four thirty five through four forty two to be referred, but there needs to be a correction made. Where you see the items going to strategic fiscal planning on 436, 437, um, 439, 440, 442, they will all be referred to public protection and safety. Items 43, item 43 lies over. Items 444 through 451 to be referred, except, I'm sorry, 447 is public protection, and 455, <laughs> there's discussion on that, I believe. Well, we can wait until the resolution. Oh, okay. And 448 goes with 455. But Alderman Warner. I, I was just going to, on 447, Mr. President, say it had to go to public protection. That goes to day. public protection and safety also, yes. And 448 is going to be held for 455. Right. <clears throat> Matters li that, lies, that lies over, 452 through 453, but Alderman Wenninger. Suspension. Second. And I also it, would like to. Amend. Is there any is there any objection to suspension? Hearing none, please continue. I, I you have to make a motion to to put that upon its passage. I make a motion that we put it on our suspension upon its passage. Second. No, that's already been. Well, excuse me. Now I'd yes, like to does. amend. No, amendment it's got to be passed. No, no. Just made a motion. Now she, now she can make her amendment motion. Oh, there was a second? Yes. Already. Now she wants to make amendment. Okay. Now can I amend it? <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> the wastewater funds, it changes from 2,400,000 to 3,200,000. Okay. And you're making now, that a motion to amend? Um, is there a second? Mm. Second. It's been moved and seconded to amend that document to, to change the, the wastewater fund unreserved retained earnings to the wastewater fund siphon and interceptor projects from 2,400,000 to 3,200,000. Mm. Is there any discussion? Alderman Perez. Thank you, Mr. President. Actually, that's not the one I wanted to speak on. You sort of got ahead of me. That was before Alderman Warner, but I'll wait my turn till the end. It's just a formality here. Oh, okay. I, I believe Alderman uh, Van Akron was the right, one. Right, he's going next. Thank, Thank you. you. Alderman Van Akron. Yeah, I want to know why the big increase in that project down there. Is it in the South Pier? Mr. Holton will address that. We bid out uh, two projects together. It was the siphon uh, under the Cheboygan River to replace the 7th Street siphon. Uh, and as an alternate, we bid Wisconsin Avenue uh, siphon crossing. They're both uh, uh, 
at capacity and over. Uh, the original estimate for both projects was 4.5 million. Uh, by bidding together as an alternate Wisconsin, the bids came in at 3.2 million. Uh, so uh, the original estimate just on the 7th Street siphon was 3.2. So we want to do both projects because of the excellent price that we got on it. That's why the reason for the change. Any other discussion? Any other discussion on the amendment? Then all those in favor of that amendment say aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. Motion carried. Okay. Then a uh, new motion as amended. Yes, and I'd like to make a motion as amended to be put up on its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution as amended be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Pat, would you call the roll, please? 20. Aye. Doyle? Aye. Brock? Aye. Manny? Mondemayer? Aye. Modi? Aye. Perez? Aye. Greenfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderbilt? Aye. Wonderman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weininger? Aye. Fallman? Aye. Berg? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Alderman Perez, did you want to go back to a document? I, yes, I, I thank you, Mr. President. Just a, a, a point to be made on communications and petitions, one to be referred. I believe you said that, that the uh, communications that were submitted by me were going to be referred to public works and not strategic Public protection fiscal. and safety. Well, public protection and safety? Right. Not both, just one. Just one. Okay, the right. people who have uh, submitted communications to me have been told by me that they were going to be heard, uh, their, their communication was going to be considered at that meeting. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that they're planning to attend. Would somebody please send them a letter saying it's been referred to a different committee? Sure, okay. um, we can do that. Uh, Alderman um, Warner, do you know when they might be on your agenda for public protection and safety? Uh, possibly the 28th of this month, but until I set up the agenda, I have to look at the whole thing. I'm not going to schedule everybody all at one time and have 100 people in there. So if we have to work on something special, but right. it would come to us because it was a police department issue, basically. Right. If you want to let them talk, that's, that's up to you. Sure. But what I'm saying, at least let them know that it's going to come before public protection, I, that, it, that their communication will be considered under public protection and safety, yes. not strategic fiscal, because that's what I've been telling them. That was my understanding before. Okay. okay? It was going to be that. That's, that's all I'm saying. Right. You know, when they come to you, you deal they with them. Got, you any, anyone that comes to our committee, any communication, they always get a, a phone call telling them, when the meeting is going to be and what time their communications are going to okay. be discussed. Okay, thank you. Yep. So I, I, a lot of people, I believe, might be confused with that, that issue, although it was stated in the front page of the press about this was changing and that was changing. No change has been made. It's only a, a recommendation at this time, which has to go to public protection and safety to make a recommendation, hopefully, to strategic fiscal planning as to what's. So that's, that's why it was moved. Just so that people know. Alderman Van Akron. I also got a lot of calls on that. And they were told that on the 27th, they would be at the Street and Physical Planning Commission, because that's when they meet. So how are these people all going to know that they're not going to go there? And they meet, that's before your protection safety is ever going to meet. Right, the 27th, but the agenda was first set. You probably got that today. None of these are on there. Oh. And none of those were on there because they were first coming into council no, tonight. Other ones that we have oh. seen previously. It was a okay. week ago, and then I called them, a couple of them, and told them it was going to be on the 27th. Okay. Well, um, hopefully the paper will mention it, and the news media and Mike Hutz will have something done. Uh, what, what happened is. Uh, uh, we wanted all the documents regarding the uh, proposed parking ban to be referred initially to public protection and safety. They were referred to strategic, as, as you all mentioned. And for them, what will happen on the 27th at the strategic meeting, all the documents referring to the parking ban will be referred to public protection and safety. Uh, strategic is going to be meeting only on the budget, and we thought, this might uh, be a lot easier because we'll be discussing the budget and revenues on the 27th and there'll be no discussion regarding the uh, parking ban and strategic. So it'll all go to one, one parent committee strategic. 
So if the press could make that very apparent, that they will not be covered, uh, that those documents will not be discussed on the 27th, but it will be discussed hopefully on the 28th at Public Protection. Alderman Press. Just, just another point. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Uh, President. There's people that don't read the press. There's people that don't listen to the radio. All I'm asking is that the people that I told that they should attend the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee with regards to their communication now won't be able to. All I'm asking is for somebody to send them a note and say it's been referred to a different committee. That's all I'm asking. Very simple. Alderman Warner. I think that uh, if, if Alderman Perez told all these people that their document was going to be discussed at the meeting on the 27th, that was probably not a very good thing to do because until the agenda for that meeting comes out and says these documents are going to be discussed, that takes away from the chair of that committee's authority and responsibility to organize a meeting in an orderly fashion. And in this case, I have no problem. I think the clerk's office should probably call these people or perhaps Alderman Perez, since he knows these people personally, could call them up. Uh, but I don't have a problem sending a note, but uh, you shouldn't be telling people things are going to be at another committee's meeting unless you, in fact, are the chair of that committee and have set the agenda. Um, we will call, the city clerk is going to call the people. Alderman uh, Van Ecken. On the strategic physical planning committee, I got tonight, down below it says, city clerks have been negotiated by the mayor from public, from police chief and patrol officer, ordinance change to a number of parking, two to five in restrictions. This is tonight I got. This is the second one I got, and it's on this agenda again. For a referral? No, it doesn't. It says, no. That's review the documents in file. Let's see if any of them have done that. Mike? I, I think we can respond to that. Uh, they were put on that committee, and they, they cannot be pulled out of that committee by us. They'll have to be referred by strategic to public protection, so we could not make a change on that one. <laughs> That's true because the original documents were referred <coughs> to, to strategic. They have to meet and say, we make a motion to refer to public protection. It'll come back to council next public, next council meeting. It won't even be on the 28th. It'll come back to the council first, then be referred to public protection. You cannot refer between committees. Right. It's got to go through the council for our paper, paper trail. So in other words, it will not be, these older ones will not be acted on on the 28th of May. It'll be June because it has to go back to council first. That's the, the uh, rules. The revised agenda you got over in that acronym was we included the election of a new chairman because that was not included in the previous one. Alderman Perez. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> I guess we, all got, we always have to have the last word, but in response to Alderman Warner's uh, comment, I'm not in any way trying to fashion or design anybody's agenda. All I was going to buy was what I was told was going to be discussed at that meeting. If plans have changed, fine. All I'm asking is for people to be made aware so that they and don't they will show be. up and nothing happens. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Uh, Alderman and you Warner. Know, I, always, I always have to respond a little bit. It, the full intention would be, and we do always call people into public protection and safety, and uh, typically Bonnie and or if it's the fire department secretary, Lisa Horn at the time, she does the phone calling, calls everyone, tells them what time their item is going to be discussed at the meeting, and uh, we'll do the same on this issue. Unfortunately, now we're going to be waiting until June, but hey, this stuff happens. Thank you, Alderman Warner. Alderman Moody, I have you, I have you on. I don't. No? Okay. Where are we at that? Do we need a vote? Um, no. Oh. Uh, that's all. Okay. Um, 453 lies over. To be referred 454 through 459, except uh, 455. Alderman Bauman? Well, thank you, Your Honor. Um, I, I, You're welcome. Yeah, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm so used to saying that. I apologize. Um, I need to ask for suspension of the rules this evening, please. It's been moved and seconded for suspension. Is there any objection? Continue. Then, uh, Mr. President, I do need to 
uh, make the motion then to accept and file the report of officer, which was 448. That's in reference to the sewer siphon, which we had spoken about earlier. And then the resolution, um, which is related to this, number 455, also with the siphon interceptor sewer improvement project. I would move then that uh, our will be accepted and filed, and the resolution be put upon its passage. It's been moved and seconded that the uh, resolution be put upon its passage and that 448 be accepted and placed on file. Um, is there any discussion? Hearing none, would you call the roll, please, Pat? <coughs> Doyle? Aye. Graf? Aye. Manny? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonnet? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carried. <clears throat> Items 460 and 461 lie over. 462 to be referred. 1 3 lies over to 7 7. Other matters? Four sixty three and four sixty four. Alderman Bauman? No. Oh. Alderman Doyle? I uh, move that the uh, RO be uh, accepted and adopted. Jerry, you can do number sixty four also. Number sixty four? It's a license. Okay, uh, also include number uh, four sixty four in that motion. It's been moved and second to accept and file uh, both of the ROs and grant the licenses. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, would you call the roll, Pat? Graf? Aye. Manny? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Weniger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Aye. Bonnet? Aye. Doyle? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Four sixty five to strategic fiscal planning. Four sixty six lies over. Four sixty seven to public works. Four sixty eight. Alderman Warner. President, I make a motion to accept and file the report of committee. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and adopt the um, RC, which is regarding filing documents, submitting a communication from Wally Holtzhuser relative to a parking problem on the 2700 block of North 12th Street. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 469 and 470. Alderman Warner. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, for 425 and 426, have we filed those already, Pat? No, no you have. No. Okay, so on, uh, after discussion, these, these documents were referred to public protection and safety and public works, and there were some slight differences in the wording that we had, uh, uh, and the result that came out of our committee, and uh, Alderman Bauman, the chairman of Public Works, agreed that we should accept and file his two documents and adopt the ones from Public Protection and Safety, which in as much say about the same thing and took care of some concerns they had found in Public Works. So on that, I would make a motion to accept and file 425 and 426. And? Accept and file RC. Accept and adopt. And accept and adopt RC number uh, 469 and 470. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file documents 425 and 426 and to um, accept and adopt 
Items number 469 and 470 under discussion. Alderman Warner. Under discussion, Mr. President, uh, number 469 is a communication from the event organizer for the River Ride Relay Race making various requests and public protection, safety, and public works approved the function that they had requested to hold. And it is subject to uh, indemnification agreement and liability insurance for them to be able to pay for the financial costs of their event. And on item number 470, Your Honor, that is a communication from the director of the John Michael Kohler Art Center, Ruth de Young Kohler, to install a birthday cake sculpture honoring Sheboygan sesquicentennial and the Art Center's 35th birthday. The Art Center is developing an exhibition called Cake Mix that will also focus attention on the huge cake planned as a gift to the city. The cake will be decorated by Sheboyganites, as well as our friends and guests, a true representation of the city of Sheboygan. Both the Public Works Committee and the Public Protection and Safety Committee discussed this communication in their meetings and approved it, each believing it would be a good fit for our 150th birthday celebration. The City Attorney's Office is working with the Arts Center to ensure indem indemnification and liability requirements are met. Just imagine a huge birthday cake, 12 feet in diameter, close to 12 feet high, decorated by the very people whose city and art center it will honor. The John Michael Kohler Art Center staff, along with Kohler Company engineer Mark Flasher and Quash's Construction's Steve Woods, will provide guidance in its construction to ensure the cake safety. It's kind of odd you have to have a safe cake, but we're going to have them. <laughs> uh, we all should remember the Chair City celebration of Sheboygan's past. And we all will remember Sheboygan's sesquicentennial, and this cake will surely leave a lasting impression. Now, if only we could figure out a way to eat it with some real vanilla Zerheides ice cream. That would be the topping. But the Art Center does bring many people and a lot of recognition to Sheboygan year in and year out. It is part of our new downtown fabric and the bright future our city has before it. To the Art Center, I say thank you. To Sheboygan and the John Michael Cole Art Center, I say happy birthday. Let's all support this celebration. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Warner. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Chair will vote aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 471, Alderman Doyle. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. And the licenses be granted. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to uh, accept and file, accept and adopt the IRC and grant the licenses. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Pat, would you please call the roll? Manny? Aye. Matt Montemayor? Aye. Moody? Aye. Perez? Aye. Rinfeich? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Van Vanderweel? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Warner? Aye. Wenninger? Aye. Bauman? Aye. Berg? Bonnet, Aye. Doyle, Graf. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 472 to be referred. 473 lies over. Other matters, Steve? 474 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various suggestions from the 8th grade class of Farnsworth Middle School about ways the city can save money, and I believe all the aldermen have Rather large sheets of paper. No, they don't have them. I have them. They're, they're about that big, <laughs> five sheets of paper, so I didn't give you copies. <laughs> that will be referred to strategic fiscal planning. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. aye. Chair votes aye opposed. Motion carries.